A Portland student from Oregon Episcopal School now at Berkeley is making a name for herself in the aerospace industry. As Libby Dowsett found out, she's showing other girls and women that space science is no longer a males only profession. Kara Geyser is impressive. In high school, she built a makeshift science lab in her garage, rose to the international level of high school science fairs, and now has set her sights on Mars. If you can't go to Mars, why not recreate it in your own garage during COVID quarantine? Uh, kind of a makeshift back corner of the garage on a uh, workbench. So this whole apparatus with a bunch of vacuum chambers. Just the beginning of Kara Geyser's high school mission to develop life support systems for Mars. She actually created a system that simulated Mars atmospheric pressure so just what it's like on Mars, temperature, pressure, humidity, all of that in a chamber. Rachel Tillman, Kara's mentor, knew this student was special, and Tillman would know. This is my dad, James E. Tillman. Her own father was instrumental in the Viking Mars missions in the 1970s. Tillman spent her childhood working in and around labs and launch pads. You're looking kind of from the top down, her father even bought her a scrap spacecraft. Used. This is the only flight qualified Viking lander that is not on Mars. This now Tillman here, paying it forward with Kara and, and other young scientists. I wanted to push her because to me that's how we all grow. It's to be uncomfortable a little bit. And it worked. Kara is now a paid intern at the space station startup VAST, working on similar life systems research. She's also interned at NASA. It's, it's so cool seeing hardware that you were able to at least have some contribution to actually go to space and do something really cool furthering the science. And Kara just scored an exclusive scholarship meant for the best and brightest female and minority space scientists. Some of these young women go on to be commercial astronauts. I mean, that, that is part of what this does. They become some of the top performers in the industry. Kara now finding her own crew to rocket toward a much different future. Having settlements on the moon and being able to go to Mars and, you know, actively be able to access our, even our own orbit is going to be a reality. And, uh, you know, I'm trying to make that happen. Even though Kara is just beginning to launch her own career, she's not forgetting all the girls coming up behind her. She is now a mentor for high school students who are working on their own science projects. Libby Dowsett, KGW News.